Hey, I give it. Hello, welcome back to the. Hello. Supposed to jumping off. God damn. That's Matt. Forgot how to say his name. Talking about fucking 2018 in review. Uh, going into <laughs> PlayStation and Xbox games. I just now. immediately got that. Are oh, you cutting out super bad now? <coughs> Are you able to hear me? Okay, I can hear you now. Yeah, yeah. Did you hear any of, the, any of the stuff I was saying? Way. I heard hello, and then just nothing, and then I was like. Oh, okay. Hey, hello. Cool. That explains. Oh, yeah, exactly. That explains why you were I shit. That's good to know, cause yeah, I just like I was like, oh, okay. Am I, I guess this is how we're starting this. It's just like a fucking broad hello. Ah, uh, yeah. Hold on. Okay. Oh my god, this fucking shit. That's good. Was I cutting out before? Can you hear me? I can hear you, yeah. Okay. Uh, can you hear this whole sentence? I'm still talking? This is yes. Like, you like it's continuous? It's working? Yeah, there's okay. tiny breaks, but at least it's not like fucking four. Okay, yeah, because I did like the intro again, and I was like, hey, I'm Adam, and then waited, and then you were just like, hello, and I was like, I hate your guts. What the fuck is this shit, dude? <laughs> like, <laughs> fucking hell. And then I was just like, well, I guess Matt forgot how to say his name, so that's Matt. And then you just ignored that, too, and I'm just like, all right. Time to burn down the roost. All right, so I guess we'll start it now, super professionally. Yeah, good, good. Hello! Welcome back to Phoenix Roost. I'm Adam. And I'm Matt. We're uh, going to keep going on with our 2018 year in review coverage, tackling a... Uh, PlayStation and Xbox releases. Uh, a little bit of a note. I'm gonna be talking out of her ass on a lot of these games. I haven't played many of them. <laughs> I'm gonna be talking about my out of my ass basically about all of them. Yeah, so I think you just go. have your impressions of like some trailers, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I've played two of them. <laughs> I think I've played literally none of them, so that, yeah, you, that you haven't good. Yeah, you haven't played any of them. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So I'll just uh, go off on VR because I have VR and Matt doesn't, so he doesn't even care about these games anyway. Well, maybe you care about them, but I mean, they're so far yeah. off your radar, whatever. Uh, so first off, we got Inpatient, which uh, my friend, uh, fellow PhD holder, Brandon Clark, would say is a revolution. <laughs> Uh, a revolution to gaming, you In say? gaming and horror as a whole. Um, so Impatient is like a weird spinoff of Until Dawn, which is a great horror game, and everybody should play that. It's like a, it's like a really good movie. It's like a pretty entertaining movie, I should say. Um, Impatient takes place in like a mental hospital, uh, like years and years before that game, so there's like minor ties to it, but it's just a VR horror game where you're in a mental hospital. That sounds spooky. Oh, in the time when they, like, tortured people in mental hospitals, because humans did that, because... Maybe Catholics are right, man. <laughs> Maybe we are just full of sin. I, I think Catholics yeah, might be I mean, right, actually. That, that sucks when the Catholics are right. Jesus Christ. We well, have to they might just be down. right about the full of sin part, but not That's the whole, true. you know, like, all the rest of it. Yeah, like, never mind, fuck it. Uh... Moss looks like a cute little PlayStation VR adventure where you overlook uh <laughs> you'll get a little mouse going around doing fun little adventure things and you try to keep them safe. Looks cute. Costs way too much have, for how I short have seen it is. That. It looks cute. Like, yeah. yeah. I've heard really good things, but it's really short and I'm not gonna buy it not on sale. So Pro tip, don't buy any VR yeah. stuff unless Where it's just saying fucking don't buy VR stuff unless it's on sale. Most of it is like tech demo stuff still at this point. And, like, some of it's really cool tech demo -y stuff, but it's tech demo -y stuff. Um, yeah, I played a flight with you. That was pretty fun. But, yeah, yeah like, you were telling me it was, like, 40 bucks when it started out. It yeah, and I got it for, like, five. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, and then, finally, for VR stuff, at least, we got a, a new FromSoft game. 
with uh, minor hints and nods toward Bloodborne. Not really. They're just Easter eggs, and a lot of people got pissed <laughs> off. And the president of FromSoft <coughs> himself actually had to come out and be like, no, this isn't a hint that we're working on Bloodborne 2. I'm sorry for getting your hopes up, which was pretty fucking funny. Uh, like, you can't even put, like, an Easter egg in a game without making people upset. It's fucking the whole world, man. But, uh, yeah, Durasane, it's a weird little game about fairies. Like, I think you're a fairy, and you're just exploring this, uh... And, like, fairies in the traditional sense, where they're, like, kidnapped children who, like, become, like, immortal monsters. Yeah, like, monsters. scary fairies. Not necessarily, like, scary, but, like, dark and, like... Like, they're wistful and, like, will help people out, but, like, if you're not careful, they'll, like, fuck you over. Like, so that's cool. And it's just that, like, a classic fairy tales type thing that takes place in an orphanage over a couple of years, and you just... Yeah, it's just a storybook. Like, She's it looks cool. She's saying it's a fairy tale about fairies. It's a fairy tale about fairies, Yeah. Also, it like the trailer cracks me up, uh, just because like, um, I don't remember what the word is, but it's something like I've always wanted to be a fairy, and just like because of the slang, that's funny. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, also, Tetris Effect is VR enabled, I think, and that just looks like a fun take on Tetris. But I'm not paying more than like three bucks for Tetris anymore. Sorry. Yeah, that's the tough thing about Tetris. Man. I see new like I saw that too and was like, damn, that is kind of cool. And I was just like, man, I was like, yeah, like, yeah, I don't have much more to to get into Tetris about anymore. Like, yeah, and like if I play Tetris, I'll play it for a minute and I'll get into it. But like, it's Tetris, man. I it's good. But right. I just puzzle games like that don't hold my attention for long, and I don't get like, yeah, just I don't know. I know some people go crazy yep. over it. Uh, but it looks really cool. Uh, then uh, another quick little game to talk about. Oh, no, no, no. There's one more VR game. Borderlands 2 VR. Took out the co-op, so I'll never bother getting it. But uh, just crazy that there's like a full-on, like, I guess you could say high-octane first-person shooter VR game. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I just... No fucking... Yeah, no co-op, though. That's that's weird yeah. shit fucking borderlands game like yeah but i mean it's like vr so like they can't do it yet like uh star trek uh bridge commander is co-op and that's four people sitting in chairs looking around like i believe that works like but then again they do have eve valkyrie Warzone, which is a i think first person like spaceship shooter that's co-op or not co-op it's like a fucking full-on multiplayer game so, I don't know. I don't know where it's at. But yeah, Borderlands 2 without co-op is just a joke. I don't want to go through all that content alone, even though... If it ever gets free or down to like 10 bucks, I'll probably check it out, just to like see how that works in VR. Yeah, for Like sure. a full-on first-person shooter VR. That does sound like fun, um, and would be the best way to go back to Borderlands 2 if I ever wanted to do that. Uh, but I think that's it for VR stuff. One other, the last PlayStation game I didn't play, but I was interested in playing a lot, and is like PlayStation exclusive, was a way out. Uh, did you hear about that one? Yeah, isn't that the uh, the co-op one? The uh, yeah, the escape one? from jail together. Yeah, yeah, it just, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's weird that we never talked about that game. I don't think, but uh, I would definitely be down nope. to play it sometime. I would too. No, yeah. Yeah. No, I uh, I saw it, and then I was interested in it, and then I kind of wasn't, and then I watched a stream of somebody else playing it, and was like, yeah, no, I actually probably would be interested in that, actually. Yeah, it looked good <laughs> from what I've seen. Yeah. Um, there's two big ones, I think. Oh, yeah, okay, let's talk about, uh, yeah, The Quiet Man. <laughs> so The Quiet Man shouldn't exist and is a massive mistake. Yeah, for sure. For yeah. sure. Everything yeah, the game, I've seen on it. That game had, yeah. like, no sound because you played as, like, a deaf person or something. And just, like, that's a neat yep. idea. But did you think about that? Did, did you think about that? I don't know if you thought about that. There's movies about deaf people. They still have music. Maybe there's moments where it's deaf. Right. But it, like, accentuates, like, the point. Like, do you know how more powerful it would be to have music in that game? And then, like, I don't even know the plot of the game. I'm just making up a situation with a deaf person. But, like, there's somebody they love, and, like, they're trying to have a conversation with them, and they're clearly frustrated. All the sound cuts out, and then it just accentuate like, how frustrated they are. That's how you use silence to, like, fucking... It's... it's like, <laughs> use soundscapes intelligently. Don't just be like, well, he can't hear anything, so maybe it'd be neat if the player couldn't hear anything. It's not neat. It's fucking stupid. 
<laughs> right? Yeah, no, for sure. Like, Plus, like, the gameplay bits and everything. I'd be fine if like you shit. couldn't hear, like, the words people were speaking to you or something. Like, fine. Yeah, like, yeah that's fine. Put, put me that way. Like, yeah, like... There's a difference like... between the sounds that the character hears. Like, make it so I can't hear what the character can't hear. But I'm not the character. I'm the audience, and the audience can have music okay. that will, like, swell and shit. Like, I don't know if you know about emotional gravitas. That's how movies work. That's how movies make you cry, is the music. Watch any sad scene in a movie without music. It will make you a lot less sad. Right. Or angry, or scared. Like, there's scary scenes, man. Take the music out. Okay. Some might be creepy, but, like, you won't get, like, the same fucking effect. Yeah, like, freaked out. Yeah. No, I'm scared. There's our company, like, to kind of, right. like, freak out all your senses. Yeah, man, definitely. Just, like, nonstop cacophony of noise. Right. It's like a banging cans and pans together. So I think that's it for all the big releases for PlayStation. Some uh, new God of War, like, spinoff came out, and uh, something about, right, like, an right. uh, eight-legged guy in, like, a red suit. Yeah, I think it was like, uh, fucking, what was it, Tarantula Man or something like that? I thought it was an octopus. Octo Girl? Oh, maybe it was. Oh, no, that was the Switch Octo game. Girl. Yeah, that was the Switch game. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, God of War was fine. I don't know. I lost interest. It's fine. It's a beat em up. It's Nordic. It looks good. Kratos is a dad. Yeah, I mean, I like the, the Nordic setting. Like I, I like the idea of them taking it that way. I don't know how the kid relationship works with like Great. him, but it's good. It's well written. Yeah, he's invincible, so he can't die, which like is stupid, <laughs> but like simultaneously way better. I'd rather take stupid than yeah, than just having somebody that just fucking like walks around dying all the time. Yeah, That's yeah. It. So uh, I don't know. I don't know what the thing is for me. God of War didn't really hook me. The combat just kind of, I don't know. The story and everything, the world, all of that was perfect, but. I, I don't know. And Spider-Man's fine. It's uh, it's, it's really great that Batman got a fifth game that he couldn't be damned to show up in. Um, it's it's good. It's like a solid 7 out of 10. I'm playing it right now, swinging around the city. I'm enjoying this. I've literally just swung around New York the entire time we've been talking. Like, it's Yeah, no, and that looks funny shit. Like, I, I did swing around. Uh, I did play a little bit of that yeah. at your place. And swinging around for sure was like the highlight of that for me. I was like, oh my god, yeah, this is fun as fuck. Yeah, uh, honestly, Spider Man has a really sour taste in my mouth right now. So, this, it's a god of war. The plot and everything's really good. It looks great. The swinging mechanic is fucking spot on. Uh, combat's really good until they just won't stop shoving it down your throat all at once. And uh, the DLC does that. And I was stupid and got the deluxe edition, so I got all the DLC. And I finished the first two, and I'm like a third of the way through the last one, and it's just. There's neat story bits with characters I don't give a fuck about, and then just combat after combat after combat. You alright, man? Yeah, sorry. No, I'm a little good, sick, so I've got the shitty coughs. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> but, uh, yeah. Spider-Man, the base game's really good. I can honestly recommend the base game. Uh, by the time... You only start to get tired of the combat towards the end of it, and it's not that big of a deal by then, and you're so involved in the story. The story is excellent in this fucking game. I won't spoil it, but it's, like, who the main villain is is just great, and they handle it really well. Maybe better oh, than the movie cool. about him. Um, but the DLC is terrible. Don't get the DLC. Don't, not even free. Don't, don't get the DLC. Like, honestly, don't even wait for the complete edition of this game. Wait for the complete edition so that you can buy the base edition for much cheaper. <laughs> um, I think that about wraps it up for PlayStation. Is there anything else PlayStation that you want to talk about? I mean, clearly you uh, went no, all no. in on PlayStation and Xbox this year. Yeah, it sucks because yeah, they had two big releases. I did buy God of War. I just never got into it. Like, and then yeah, Spider Man was the game I wanted to get, but it was that or Red Dead Redemption Two. And honestly, I was gonna get Red Red Dead Redemption Two. So yeah, I got both. Cause I'm a moron, <coughs> but uh, they're both good. Okay, then we'll just move on to the system that I don't even own, and Matt only recently got, but technically doesn't own either. Right. Um. Yeah, fucking Xbox One. Yeah, I bought one for my kid this year for his birthday, or not for his birthday, for Christmas, and I got Rare Replay for him, so that's cool. I'm gonna start yeah, playing yeah, yeah. that pretty soon, and I got a 
Super Lucky to start. Yeah, Super Lucky Tales was pretty Tales. fun. I actually yeah, played yeah. that with him. I was like, yeah, yeah, that's, that's fun as shit. But neither of those games came out this year, so we won't talk too much about those. Yeah, yeah so uh, Banjo Kazooie, my favorite game of all time. Um, so I'll save the one I'm most excited to talk about. Actually, I'll just go in reverse order of how I wrote them. Ashen looks like a really weird Dark Souls clone uh, that, like, I mean, like, yeah. visually looks weird, but in a good way. Uh, it's, like, really basic polygons and stuff, if I'm remembering right. And uh, it just looks interesting. Uh, Dark Souls-y. A little short from what I've heard, but good. So... I don't have an Xbox, so I won't be able to play it for a while anyway. So hopefully by the time I do, it'll be on sale. Yeah, uh, probably will be. So. Yeah. State of Decay 2, sequel to State of Decay. State of Decay is my favorite uh, zombie game I've ever played. It actually captures that feeling of like, okay, we're in like a cabin. Like, we got to bunker down. Oh, shit. Shit's hit the fan. We have to leave. We have to find a new base. You do it. You do that a couple times in the game and like set up a new camp each time getting bigger and bigger. More people you got to take care of. You gotta manage food, you gotta manage water, you gotta manage guns, you gotta avoid zombies, you gotta build up your base and everything. Really enjoyed it. A little clunky. Uh, some of the systems didn't work as well as you could. Some things could get a little annoying. Some things were a little silly. Uh, but it was a really fun zombie survival game. Save <laughs> Decay 2 just uh, improves on all that, so I'm really excited to try it out, because currently State of Decay is my favorite zombie game, so I assume State of Decay 2 would just build on that, but I've been hurt before. <laughs> and you'll um, be hurt again. I, yep. I, yep. <laughs> yeah, I will. Lastly, uh, the most exciting thing for me on Xbox this year was Sea of Thieves, which was apparently like a lackluster, bare-bones release on release. Yeah, but uh, it's kind of a nothing sandbox, is from what I hear. Like, yeah, it's kind of like Red Dead Online. Um, yeah, yeah. Except it's getting updates already, so I don't know. I'm still excited, and again, I don't have an Xbox, so when I get it, uh, maybe it'll be cheap and full, bursting to the brim with content. I'm not sure, but I've pirates. That's a cool setting to me. I've always liked pirates and wanted to do more pirate stuff. For sure. So yeah, no, for sure. It's just like Wild West games, honestly. Yeah. Like, there's just not a lot Both of, them. of them. Like, it's like, yeah, super interesting. Like, era. That's why I like and the that, games. Uh... Yeah, the game sounds interesting. I'm gonna end up picking it up on sale because we didn't get John Luke fucking. Obviously, I didn't really want to pay for two fucking online like yearly subscriptions. Yeah. But like, so we didn't end up getting them that. But I'll probably end up picking at least a three month one up and picking that game up at some point so I can stick around in it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but yeah, that was about it for Xbox. I it, like I don't know. I'm honestly not like trying to be a dick. I feel like that's like nothing they that came out that was like exclusive. Yeah. Uh, maybe I missed something that I'm not privy to. If I did, I wasn't I think trying Forza, to. Forza, fucking Forza came out like. Yeah. No, I'm saying if I didn't year. miss nothing. If I miss yeah. nothing, it's fine. Because Forza is nothing, unless you <laughs> like cars. And then Forza came out. You probably have it if yeah. you like cars. What do you want from you me? You can race cars. Yeah. yeah. That's just like, well, a Madden game came out. Oh, did it? Wow, I forgot. Shit. How, how could I? God damn it, dude. Yeah, let's talk dude, about that yeah, real quick. We didn't so, talk about uh, how's the new Madden? Detail, so. How's the new FIFA? How's the new NBA? Where the fuck is Sega Super <laughs> Slam 2? Yeah. Where the fuck's Mario Golf? What? Right. Where's Mario Kart 9? Dude, where's God Mario damn. Madden? Where's the Mario fucking football game? Yeah, dude. Uh, on it's just, the... Like, NFL Blitz does, like, fucking steroids and shit. And, like, you know, get your players real pumped up. What? There Break was a leg. one. I know there was. I played that one. Oh, okay. What was it called? NFL Blitz. They just fucking... It's called... It no, I'm talking Blitz. about Super Mario Strikers. No, that's the... That's the... No, no, no. The That's football the soccer in one. a different way one, yeah. Wasn't there like a football Dude, I don't one, think though? there was a Mario football game. No, huh? Yeah, there's baseball, tennis, Super Sluggers 2. It wasn't even on the Mario Sports Mix. Weird. Yep. Huh. Dude, Jap Japan, that's why. I guess. Japan makes these games. Like, I give three fucks about football. Nobody does except for America, really. Like... 
Yeah, that's very true. And I'm an American. I don't give a fuck about it. So it's a losing yeah, battle. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about it. Like, yeah. <coughs> yeah, man. I had two guys come into my store the other day. Quick tangent. Just talking about fucking Madden right yeah, now. Yeah, let's do it. Fucking talking I about. I mean, we've uh, got a small episode on this. Yeah, yeah. This fucking Xbox it's pretty, PS4 this is thing. So pretty yeah, pathetic, let's honestly. Let's so it's a little flaccid yeah, episode yeah. here for it. <laughs> for the boys. Yeah, they were just talking it's shit about football teams. Boys, One of them's yeah. like, "Yeah, Seahawks," and his buddy was just like, oh, "I don't give a shit about Seahawks." And they were all arguing. I'm just like, "I don't give a fuck about football at all." When they asked me, and then the guy was like, "Yeah, see, he doesn't like Seahawks," and I was just like, "Who's your favorite team?" And he said, "I don't know, some word." And I was just like, "I hate them." Like. <laughs> And he just got mad. And I'm just like, you're all pathetic. And they're just like, you don't like sports, man? And I'm just like, I don't know, man. I don't mind running around on a field, like, tossing a ball, like, fucking playing all that shit. I don't understand watching other people do it. Nope, like, honestly, either. honestly, it just kind of makes me feel bad. Because on the one hand, <laughs> they get paid a shit ton more money for me than I do. Which, that's fine. Like, I mean, I don't agree that they should get paid that much. But, you know, whatever. People make more money than me, whatever. But, uh, also, I'm just like, yeah, I'm a fat piece of shit. <laughs> Right. I'm literally watching other people exercise. Great. Like, I don't know. So I feel the same way about the Olympics. I'm not saying the Olympics shouldn't exist. I don't give a fuck, though. I think the Olympics should just be like, hey, yeah. America won, like, three gold trophies. Isn't that fucking awesome? Like, yeah, holy shit, yeah. And, like, that person and their family, like, they deserve to be super proud and happy with that accomplishment. I don't give a fuck yep. if you're the best pole vaulter. I don't fucking care. <laughs> You can fucking... Show me where that's gonna help yeah. you in actual life. And I'll you can like, <laughs> you can go down that super sled thing super fast, more fast than anyone else in the world alive right now. You're the fastest sledder, yeah. Super neat. That's super neat. There's a page in Guinness Book of World Records for you, buddy. Not my fucking TV though. <laughs> yeah. So PlayStation <laughs> Xbox really inspired game conversation. Yeah, they, uh... I don't know, neither of them really had a lot of exclusives out this year. Like, Sony did have some better ones than the Xbox. Oh, Honestly, yeah. Spider-Man and God of War, no. legit, are... Those are top-tier yeah. releases. But, like, yeah, like... I don't know. I don't know. Like, for all the shit-talking Nintendo gets from both the fanboys of both those two consoles, Nintendo had the fucking way more solid lineup of fucking exclusives, so... This one felt hella short. You just want to throw Nintendo in, like. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Why? Why the? Because half guess, this list like... is just basically me being like, "This came out on Switch." Yeah. Okay. So we're getting into Nintendo, boys and girls. Uh, yeah, fuck it. And it started off super depressing. Kirby Battle Royale for 3DS. Do you know what that is? A bullshit mini game that shouldn't be a real game. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna like, be a fighting game, but it's not. It's just a mini game collection, and the mini games there's copies of them. Like it's the same game, but it's like in different circumstances, but they call them different. Full price. Yeah, that's a good way to do that. That's the you know that's that's how they make a solid game in the Kirby franchise. Just fucking make a bunch of mini games. Yeah. So uh, you know, Nintendo's off to a great start. Uh, next up, all I really want to say is Dragon Quest Builders came out on Switch. It's amazing. It takes Minecraft, puts a story into it, makes it fun. That's it. It came out on Switch. It's available on all systems. Just pick it up. Get it on sale. I don't give a fuck. Buy it new. Support the series. It's fun. You'll enjoy it if you like Minecraft. Uh, another quick shout-out. Part-Time UFO is a How Labs made game for the phone where you're a uh, UFO looking for part-time work, moving stuff. It's free. What or it's the not fuck? free. What is this? Uh, it's a phone game. Cost a couple bucks. It's made by How Labs. Uh, it's like a real game, so you have to pay for it. But there's no like ads or microtransactions <laughs> or anything. And it's just a weird little game where like you go around as a UFO trying to get part-time work, and it'll just be like move these items into my truck, and you have to like use like a weird crane thing and pick them up. And three ninety nine. That's not bad. Yeah, it's. Uh, I don't know. It looks kind of interesting. I don't know if I'll pick it up. I just wanted to talk about it because I didn't even know about it until literally a week ago. Yeah, that's uh, cool. More HAL Lab stuff. It is a big year for HAL Labs, holy shit. Uh, with Battle Royale and now Star Allies. Did you play Kirby Star Allies? I'm sorry? Did you play Kirby Star Allies? A little bit. Not not a lot of it, but yeah, I did play okay. a tiny bit of it. 
Yeah, I didn't play too much. I probably played more than you based on what you just said, but still not too yeah, much yeah. of it. Um, it's just a pretty standard 2D Kirby game. It's really cute, and you can play as a bunch of people. Uh, what's really cool, though, is throughout the year they've added updates uh, with more characters from other Kirby games being playable with like full move sets and everything. And it culminated Dude, that's in the... the exact... Hmm. Sorry, sorry. You go on with your thought. But that's the exact reason why I stopped playing the game was I just was waiting for them to like update it a bunch because like, yeah. they kept adding characters to it. And I was like, dude, I want to beat this game and then have them add the characters and I'm like, done with it. So I just like stopped. I think they added their last one recently though, right? No, they just like, did. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It all culminated yeah. in a whole new mode that actually makes the game more fun apparently because it remixes levels from the main game and you have to go through them as like specific characters and use their traits to get through specific challenges that like work better for like the EDD or Meta Knight or fucking Taranzana or whatever the fuck her tarantula name is. But yeah, standard Kirby game, 2D platformer, follows suit. It's really safe and uh, apparently in like a end of year letter they said something interesting where they're just like thanks for uh, supporting Kirby Star allies and all that and we're excited to start the next phase of Kirby games which is interesting because oh, that's cool. with the Wii game Return to Dreamland that gameplay style went directly into Turby, uh, Triple Deluxe and then into Planet Robobobot and then into this one like th they're basically the same game like different levels and stuff but like graphically right. and play wise they're the same so i'm curious if they're gonna finally maybe do like a real 3d kirby game that might be cool yeah that'd be neat um so after that like honestly slightly above mediocre game detective pikachu uh utter <laughs> failure wasn't voiced by danny devito i have nothing else to say about Det detective pikachu that's insane to me a game like this exists it looked interesting for half a second like when the trailer released i was like that might be something and then i was like no it's not like yeah it's not voiced by danny devito so yeah yep hashtag danny devito for pikachu um for sure here's something i can't talk about at all uh how's the nintendo labo have you built any more of them yeah the Nintendo Labos? No. I do want to... I've been... We've been doing projects with John Luke more and more. And he's been getting more into them. So I, I think I'm going to build a couple of them when he comes next week. Or mm -hmm. at least one of them. Uh, but yeah, no, I've only really done the fishing one and the little, like, weird car one. It's all right. It's it's weird. It's a weird feeling for me. Like, I would have maybe been pissed off that I had spent money, like, on some of these. Because it's just, like... It's a fuck ton of money for, like, mini Cardboard. games that, like, you have to, like... Yeah, and then you have to put a shit ton of time into them. That's that's the thing is the time it takes to build some of these. Like Isn't some like of the hours times are two hours. Yeah, like the robot ones, like literally four hours. Yeah, yeah that's what I thought. It's fucking ridiculous, and it's just like, dude, fucking fuck, dude. And the robot. It's so game... hard for me to just have four hours of just like time to do yeah. anything nowadays, and like that four hours of me building a fucking cardboard robot thing is just like, yeah, this might be fun for. And then the, when you play the game, it's just like. I've... At least with the two that I've played so far. They're just tiny mini games. Like, they're yeah. mini games. So it's just like, yeah, this is neat. This is That's what, um, kinda neat. Like the robot one looked like a bad game to me. <laughs> like I, it didn't look yeah. fun. And I was like, that takes four hours to make for a game where you literally just awkwardly no, walk in the... place. I did the fishing one, and, like, the neatest yeah. part of it is it does, like, legit kind of make it feel like there's a fish on the end of the line when you do it because of the mm -hmm. weight. And I was like, yeah, that's neat. And, like, I dicked around with it for, like, a few hours and was like, yep. John Luke was bored of it immediately, so, like, there was that's that. A, but, that's like, amazing. Yeah, I played dude. around with it for a little bit and was just like, yeah, okay. Caught all the fish. So, whatever, I guess. Not even fake fishing can entertain today's youth. Yeah. Yeah, I have no interest in Labo. Uh, I think it's an interesting concept, but I have no faith sure. in it as a series. Where Where's the rest of it? They haven't announced shit for it. I'm not saying they won't, but, like, Nintendo tends to have history of making shit and forgetting about it, so... Yeah, I don't know. It's definitely interesting, and the, like, Toy-Con creation kit uh, thing where it, like, lets you program your own things, I think that's fucking cool that they gave people that yeah, option. It's... Not for me. I don't understand that shit, and I don't want to, but there's some people out there who get really into that kind of shit, and that's cool. Although, again, I haven't right. seen too much of it. I haven't, like, sought it out either, but, like, I haven't, like, 
Nothing's been so cool other places have been like, whoa, look at what this guy did. <laughs> no, and I think the coolest, like, the shitty thing about it is I feel like Nintendo's using these, like, cool ones just as a way to make more Labo sets, like, so they can fucking sell them, because they've got, like, the steering wheel was one of them, like, mm. that somebody else created, and Nintendo's just like, yep, there's a steering wheel pack now. Oh, that's gross if they do that. Yeah, dude, and so now, like, they're selling that, and so you can buy, like, the steering, like, the whole steering wheel set and build your yeah. own fucking steering wheel Labo, and it's just like, you guys are literally just using, like, people as a way to, like, uh, we don't have any ideas for this Labo thing, but you guys might. Like, It's not quite as bad as some of the shit that has gone on last year and in years prior and will continue to go on yeah. this year, but like, it's still just like, I don't know. It's a mix between Nintendo's really cool creativity and just willingness to do crazy shit and also just like especially that last bit you just told me really soured my like i was already at like a zero interest now i'm just at like mm, that's that's shitty of you like i hope as, if you pay the dude that'd be great that's a lot less shitty but still it's i don't know <coughs> right like yeah it's just like okay like you thieving little bastards right can't let us emulate your fucking games but you sure steal an idea from somebody so that's cool Oh, yeah, cocksuckers. Uh, anyway, quick shout out: Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze came out for Switch, and it's the best platformer ever made, in my opinion. Buy it. Yep, I totally agree with this message. I to fully support it. The Phoenix Roost fully endorses fucking Tropical Freeze as one of the best platformers ever created. Yep. I I stupidly want to pick this dumb game up again, like, yep. and I probably will end up doing so, but... It'll be on yeah. my shelf eventually, I'm sure. Yep. Um, after that, Pocket Rumble. Uh, on my channel, there is a video where you can see my... It's pretty great. I lose my fucking I mind. I fucking love Pocket Rumble. Like, I actually still play a few rounds every so often of Pocket Rumble. That game, like, I... I... I actually got into it because of you. I've never yeah. even heard of it. Looked it up, watched you get frustrated playing it, and was just like, I want to play this game badly. And then, like, fucking bought it the same night yep. and started just, like, fucking going through it. And I was just like, oh, my God, I fucking love this game. Like, I... Yeah, man, I just don't understand how that game works. Dude, it's... Yeah, and then the other thing I think that I really like about it is that each character has their own, like, they're, they're, they're really legitimately unique, unique characters. Yeah. Like... Each one has their own fucking systems and setups, and, like, they play totally different. Like, if you can master one, you still will have not a feeling for the other, like, fucking, mm -hmm. like, ten of them. Like, it, it, I don't know. The game makes me super happy every time I play it, just because of the way it is. I've seen some high-level play on, like, YouTube and stuff, and, like, it's insane to me some of the shit people can do with these characters, but... Yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah. It's a fantastic game that's super well designed and looks fucking gorgeous. Honestly, the graphics are what made me want to get it. It uh, yeah. emulates the Neo Geo Pocket look, which is like nuts, but yeah, it works great and I love it. Um, but yeah, I just I don't understand it. I will hopefully understand it someday, at least a bit enough to play through a bit of it. Uh, but yeah, I just I don't know. My brain or hands or something. That's just a disconnect. Uh, next one, I didn't play this one, but, uh, I want to support this series. Uh, Dylan's Dead Heartbreakers. It's fucking Dylan's Rolling Adventure, or whatever the hell it was called. He's like, a armadillo going around, helping western cities. Talk about not enough western games. But in this one, it's really weird. Oh, shit. It, it adds, a uh, what's up? I didn't even know they made a sequel. Like, or another one, I mean. A third, yeah. is a third one now? Third one, yeah. yeah. Uh, this one's nuts because it takes place in like a post-apocalypse world and uh, you go on like highway missions where it's like races down the highway so it adds like a new type of mode where you like have to do like not like Twisted Metal but like that kind of combat racing thing and uh, then it also keeps the tower defense mode which I don't really like tower defense mode but I don't know it's a well made game and it's like a weird first person Nintendo title that no one really talks about Another quick yeah, little shout out from the roost. roost. Hollow Knight came out on the Switch, and it's out on everything else. Buy it. 
Yeah, dude, I did play a little bit of Hollow Knight. I did buy it because it actually your suggestion and played a little bit of it. That game is amped. I really like it. Yeah, dude, it's beautiful and gets more beautiful, and it's just a solidly designed Metroidvania. Like, holy fucking shit, it's the most solidly designed Metroidvania I've played. Maybe? Uh, next up, Mario Tennis. This is a weird game that me and all my friends wanted to get, and apparently Matt did get it, but, uh... Me and a buddy of mine kept talking about how bad we wanted to pick it up, and we just never did. And now he's saying that Smash came out. He, there's no reason to buy it, and I don't understand that at all. But my friend Dave doesn't is make any sense to me at all. Yeah, Dave is just an insane but, person. So, dude, that game is cool and fun. Like, I don't know. I like virtual tennis games for some stupid ass reason. Dude, the like, Mario Tennis no games idea are good. Why. Yeah. But I, I dig it. I played a bit of it. Again, it's one of those games I just didn't get super into yet, but like I've played a, a little bit of it. Um, I like that there's a shit ton of DLC characters that are just free, like coming mm -hmm. out for it. Like, there you go, there you go, there's this guy, and it's like, holy shit, like that's neat as fuck. Like, that's definitely a cool approach to DLC. Right? Wish they'd do that with Smash, just release a few Echo Fighters for free. I'm not even getting yes. greedy. Just release some Echo Fighters for free. Oh my like, god, dude. That'd be great. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, did you, I mean, did you play tennis, through the... Tennis. How are the, like, uh, I know the single player mode is, like, a bunch of, like, challenges for the most part. Like, how are those? I, I didn't do any of the single player mode. I honestly just played up, like, a round or two of it, like, just because oh, I was like, oh, very I little of it. Game. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Bare Bones played this thing so far. Right on. But I've been wanting to get into it. It's another one of those weird ones for me, though, where, like, it's the same thing that kind of happened with Kirby, is, like, I noticed a bunch of DLC was getting released for it, and they keep announcing it, and I'm like, man, I don't know, maybe I'll start playing it once, like, that's all released, so that I, like, you know, don't miss some characters or something when I'm done with it. Like, right. I don't know. It, it's a weird thought process that no, I have with these ones, I but completely agree dude yeah. I did the same thing with Kirby I was like oh they're gonna be releasing a ton of DLC I'll just wait and then it ended with a new mode right, so like, it was hella worth it yeah uh, so yeah Mario Tennis uh, interesting I, I, don't, I don't know it's much better than the Wii U one which was apparently bare bones garbage I don't, I don't know uh, next up I never played I've... the Wii U one because it looked like bare bones garbage so yeah and everyone said that so I believe them yeah uh, next up, Octopath Traveler. I didn't get a chance to play this yet, but uh, it looks fucking gorgeous. So, so fucking gorgeous. Oh, and uh, it's got a cool, like, uh, split eight-path story. Whoa, by the title. And uh, they all converge, and you, like, I don't know. It just looks really good to me. Really interesting RPG. Yeah, I'm in the same boat as you, and I almost picked it up a couple times, actually, but me then too. other games got in the way. But, uh... The only thing that I have heard is kind of a bummer is that a lot, even though like there's the eight paths, that's a lot of the paths are just real bare bones, like bullshit paths, and none of them really converge too much. Like all the characters still feel like complete strangers to one another. Apparently, like mm. you'll just have like just random like, oh, it's the fucking dancer's time to shine now, and like none of those characters have anything to really do with her like story or like get involved with it in really any way more than just like we're here to fight for you. Oh, like, well, yeah, but, like, what it is is you, like, pick a story to follow, and then you can have that dude join up with the other dude and then just, like, do their, like, stories together. Yeah. Like, so, I don't know. I I personally like all how that sounds, to me, personally. I don't mind having, like, eight separate stories that you can, like, handle however you want to do them. I, I don't mind having eight separate stories either. I just I wish that, like... I guess what I was hearing from it was just basically like they don't really like interact too much the characters and like I don't know. I wish that oh, I guess like there's would. not like a stronger party dynamic. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get that. I get you. That's uh that's definitely something they didn't really do back in the day though either. Like That's true. That is true. So but I mean, improve the games. Don't 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 use like we're doing a retro inspired game, like do better right because you can do right. party you don't chat have stuff to just now. be like well they didn't have a story back then well okay well what do you fucking yeah. do like yeah so it's where you draw the line and i i don't think like the stories are bad luckily so that that's like the biggest thing yeah for sure uh but yeah still interested in picking that up i will at some point also interested in picking up wario wear gold never got the chance wario wears a great series i love every entry i've played uh it looked good it's a best of for it so 
Yeah, no, I uh, I picked it up and played a little bit of it. Um, it's in my 3DS right now, actually. Uh, nice. Yeah, it's the best of Warrior War. Like, if you like Warrior War, you'll love this game. If you yeah. don't, then you probably shouldn't pick this game up. Like, yeah. if you don't like Warrior War, uh, drink cyanide. We don't need you. Yeah, you might be a bad person. Either yeah. that or you played the fucking DSi downloaded game. And oh, just yeah. Like, I don't like and this. just that. <laughs> Yeah, then I then you know what I'd be like, yeah, you, here try to play a different one, man. Yeah. Like get over that one. Cause play gold or the that original. That was garbage. But like, yeah. Or the fucking if you can get it, play the Wii <laughs> one. The final boss in the Wii game is one of the most fun things I've ever done in a game. Oh shit! Okay. Uh, like it just makes you do a dance, and like the way the like thing takes it, like you have to do the dance as they fucking show you. You like can't like half-ass it, and it's just fucking hilarious. <laughs> um. After that, hey everybody, Salt and Sanctuary came out for the Wii. It's a fun Metroidvania Dark Souls inspired game. Buy it! <laughs> Next we got a Super Mario Odyssey, which was a great weekend. Yeah, it was a weird It's weird literally just game. a weekend getaway, dude. It's a, just a, it's just a vacation that's over quick, and then you're just like, oh yeah, we did do that. Well, too bad I gotta go to work now. And then you forget all about it. And then you think back, and you're like, oh yeah, those sandy beaches. Hm. Those were nice. Yep. No, it's weird. Uh, it's one of the games I do have in the Decision Roulette. So this episode also powered by the Decision Roulette. Well, I mean, every episode um, is. Who else would be making the decisions? it's one of those that I'm just like, yeah, I guess I'll grab a couple, like, you know, fucking moons today. And, like, I'll run through and grab a couple. And I'll have a little bit of fun with it. And then I'll be like, yeah, there's not really anything, like, more to this than that. So, I, yeah, I grabbed a couple. I'm good. And like pop it back out to play something else but yeah no the, the game was good through it and it was weird it was a weird fucking ride through that game too some of the mm -hmm. some of that shit was just like what like really we're gonna fight a fucking dragon huh okay yeah and like the people of New Donk City but Mario's people but they and they don't look like Peach either and Pauline is like a mix okay right. like I mm. I don't know, it was like Sonic 06 again in that little way. little That little way. It plays a lot better. It actually works. But it's all really easy. And like half the goals are just like, get the moon on the hill. Where's the hill? Turn around. It's right behind you. Get on that hill. What's the challenge? Oh, it's a vertical climb up. Oh, like I have to climb? No, no, no. Like there's an incline because it's a hill. Oh, you just walk? Yep. Yeah. No, for sure. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. Super Mario Odyssey, and like, it looks good, but I hate it aesthetically. Yeah, it's no, such I do a too. hodgepodge. Like that food area, that one almost works, but compared to everything else, like compared to New Donk City, it makes no fucking sense. And then they had Dark yep. Souls Land. What the fuck was that? And it's only the dragon fight. Why is it even there? Why have a cool Dude, ruined castle area that's that just a boss the fight? Worst. It was just that weird dragon fight, and it's just like, wait, what? Like, yeah. And they mm -hmm. weirdly act like it's an actual world though, because they're like, you can go back there and get oh, like yeah. the other like three or four other stars. Yeah, there's like a joke stars there. Like, you'll find yeah. the rabbit or whatever. Like, oh. I don't know, man. Really weird game. I never... Yeah, like you, I didn't complete it, and I know that, like, one of the final challenges... That's one of the things they've been doing where Mario games are real easy, and then the very last level or challenge or whatever is, like, a bitch, which, I don't know. Difficulty curve, Nintendo. Follow it? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I will say I love the final cutscene of both Mario and Bowser trying to marry Peach, and Peach was just like, fuck both of you, and then Bowser was just like, it's okay, Mario. You'll get her someday. And it's just like, dude, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, yeah. What even is your relationship? Is Mario Kart canon? Is Mario Kart canon? Like, right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think that about wraps up Super Mario Odyssey. I don't really have much else to say. Uh, I, yeah. It's just yeah. a weird little thing. Like, it should have been more... It certainly... It gave us Bowser and a tux, which was Yeah, cool. the wedding outfits like were that. great. Yeah, that, yeah, real quick. The, the outfit and hat thing. That's neat. Yep. Yep. Um, uh, yeah, they added some weird Luigi like stuff to it. Yeah, I to never even played that. This year, which I didn't touch. Yeah. 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 It's just I don't know. Really weird. It, it's uh, 
Galaxy and Galaxy 2 definitely put it to shame. Sunshine puts it to shame. 64 puts it to shame. Uh, yeah. It's better than... All the new Super Mario Bros. games, maybe? Maybe? Oh, for sure. The but new the... Super Mario Bros. ones? Yeah, I'd say for sure. But the maybe, 3D... Maybe not the very first one on the 3DS. Or the two... Or the, goddamn, just the DS. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. But, uh... Yeah, and then the... Uh, 3D Land and World kick the shit out of it, in my opinion. But those are my favorite Mario <laughs> games, I think. Lucky, sure, yeah. No, for sure they do. Sunshine does. Galaxy does. Like, honestly, it's a weaker link in the 3D Mario game. Yeah, dude, I think 64 is better, too. And I'm not even, like, one of those big 64 fans. I think 64 yeah. is a fine game. But I think it's better as, like, a historical, like, this is how you do 3D games. Right. I don't know. Super Mario Odyssey leads Woo! right into Luigi's Mansion for 3DS. Why does this exist? I don't understand. Weird they didn't come out on the Switch, honestly. Yeah. Like, could have just been Fucking, another Switch uh, game they added. Defend it, like, Matt. Why is it on 3DS and not Switch? Okay, here we go. The only thing I can think of that it's on the 3DS and not the Switch is because Nintendo has decided they don't quite want to quit on the 3DS yet, and it's the laziest way to extend that system's life just a tiny bit by adding a new game to it. Because they just had to port a fucking game over to it instead of making a whole new game for it. Yeah. That's Al the only reason I think it exists. Alternatively, like, that's why I think it's there. everything you just said, except at the very end there, I can change it to... Uh, they didn't even have to do anything because they already made Luigi's Mansion's Dark... They already made Dark Mansion. Right. So all they needed yep. to do was, like, re recreate the levels from the first game. So either way, it's a port job or, like, a very small remake. And apparently all they added was boss rematches. Like, that's the big addition, which is cool, but... Eh. Which leads into Nintendo's yep. two biggest games that came out at the very end of the year. At least, I think they're the two biggest games of the year. Other than Tropical Freeze, sure. which is the best platformer. Um, Pokemon Let's Go, Eevee and Pikachu. Pretty good. Yep. Yeah, I like it. Pokeball Plus wasn't worth the money, but I paid for it. Yep. I would pay for it again, too. Like, I won't lie. Like, it wasn't worth the money? No. Do I still find stupid amounts yep. of joy in the dumb thing? Yeah. Like, I wouldn't buy it again. Just looking at but it right like, now, I'm just going like, back, no, I would have rebought it. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I well, I'm not going to get two of them. Yeah, yeah I, I, I was worried for a second. Just like, uh oh. Like, <laughs> fucking mass. They released like a mass. Like, a Adam, master ball. I'm going to buy 10 of these fucking. Like, Dude, I. Uh, I. I. Store I store I store it's like, throw them at people in real life. I might get fucked, though, if they're just like, here's a great Ultra and Master Ball. I'd be like, do I need four of them? Yeah, I'm stupid as fucking... But yeah, it's just a games. remake of Red and Blue. Or actually, it's a remake of Yellow. Um, in an alternate timeline? Like a weird well, like alternate timeline? Like an alternate timeline. future timeline. Yeah. Yeah, like it's in the future of an alternate timeline. <laughs> right. Um, I named my my rival Blue, and <laughs> Blue is a character in the game, so that sucked. Really wish they would have warned me. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's hilarious. That's fucking amazing. Yeah, dude. I was just like, oh, I guess it'll blue. be Blue. Just both of them keep popping up. Like, <laughs> yeah, hey, one, I'm Blue. And, <laughs> yeah, dude. And one of them's great, and one of them's a piece of shit. Yeah. Um, like, blue. I'm the real Blue here. Right. Uh, oh. it's a game I need to put more time into. I just, I think I've just burnt the fuck out on Pokemon in general, but, uh... I, yeah, I can see that. I, I'm Dude, also... I named mine Milan's, and I'm just sad about it, because, like, he's the he's worst rival moron. ever. He's a moron. And yeah. I'm just, like, every time he pops up and starts talking to me, he's like, ah, I'm sorry about this. Like, I didn't mean for this to be what it was. Look, like... it, it's okay, Matt. I know that you don't normally play Pokemon games, so you're just new to it. Yeah, you yeah, you yeah. didn't know... To name that it's a revolution um it's a revolution in gaming yeah it took out battles and then <laughs> made you only have to fight some battles i don't know it's an interesting yeah take. it adds to that pokemon go shit to it basically where like yeah you just you just catch as many as you can 
like catch five thousand caterpies and then just yeah. grind them up into candy to fucking feed your fucking other caterpie to make it the best caterpie in the world. And like, yeah, it's a really weird that kind series. of series. Like I like I don't know. It, it's fine as like a sub series. I'm glad. I hope that it does make it its way into the main series though. Right. Have you beat it yet, or did you? Are you like me and just got lost in some place? I got lost in some place, and then Smash came out, and I just like. Smash I came out. Yep, yeah. Yep. Oh shit! The biggest release in Nintendo's year. That's true. Uh, all Smash say Bros. Is, uh, Smash so. Bros. Ultimate. Ultimate. Mm. Adam. Like, let's, yeah. Mm. Uh, That's my full review. Yep. So thanks for watching the Phoenix Smash Roost uh, 2018 year in review. Uh, this game was. Uh, well, we're gonna touch on some remakes because this game was or this year was nuts for remakes, and uh, we'll also talk about some games that we skipped over. Yep, for sure. No, but really, Smash Ultimate's great, but just it's not Ultimate. They should have named it that. But like, what's there? Yeah, it's, it's a dumb fucking name to name really any game. Like, you never yeah. live up to that. Yeah, unless it's like literally your last game and you put everything in it and you ban people right. from touching it ever again. Because there's gonna when be when Banjo Kazooie's not in your fucking game, like you don't get a call at all. When Eliza so, Thornberry like, isn't in your fucking game, you don't get a call at yeah. fucking Smash Ultimate. You can't play as the Powerpuff Girls. Like you can't be Goku. <coughs> right. Where the fuck's Waluigi? Why isn't every single Pokemon in a Pokeball? Ultimate. Hmm. No, I did. I did. Like that there's like a spirit mode in there. Like it's got a lot of content. I'll give it that. It's got way more content than the 3DS and the fucking Wii U versions had. Like, and they don't yeah. feel like just padding like bullshit. Like you get collect spirits. Which How far are in the world line did you get? Matches. Hi. How far have you got in the main story? Uh, not not super far. You might want to like... save that padding content, bro. Hilarious. Well, I just mean in like mode wise, I guess is what I mean to say. Like. It's got its classic mode, and then it's got like the world and light, and then spirits, which you can just collect. Which I've just been like basically doing. Like, I just sit in the spirit board now and just fucking grind out a bunch of spirits. That's weird. That's how I did it, too. Uh, yeah. Like, David thought that it was weird that I went for the spirit board before the world of light. But yeah, there's uh, two other maps in world of light mode, and also a new game plus for it. A lot of padding there. Jesus Christ, damn. Yep. Yeah, and it has like three endings, and like, yeah, in order to beat it, you gotta get all three, so. That's insane. Whoop. Okay. Hmm. <sighs> Alright, so yeah, we'll wrap this up with that other episode that I already prefaced in my fake ending, because, I mean, of course, we're gonna <laughs> at least say a little bit about Smash, but. I mean, what is there to really say, man? It's fucking. It's like, it's Smash. If you like it, you like it, you're uh, gonna get it. They added K roll to it, so that made me fucking oh, yeah. super All happy. The, yeah, dude. They added that. fucking yeah. Yeah, yeah, Inkling yeah. was cool. Simon Belmont was a good addition. Yep. Ridley is an amazing yep. fucking addition. There's rumors the of Dragon Quest Hero. Thing. Like that's neat. Yeah. Like Echo like characters Daisy are great. In there. Fucking Shadow they Samus plays more. fucking fun as fuck. Yeah. No, they should do more Echoes and give them for free. They want to do this fucking paid DLC thing. That's fine for full characters, and then Echo yeah. should just be like a pack of echoes for free or random echo here or there like free yeah man absolutely i legitimately want an echo for every character like i don't think that's too unreasonable but i also don't Dude, think yeah, it's too unreasonable really said dixie kong boom yeah. dixie kong's out yes, i also go. don't think it's unreasonable to expect like at least two like full-on skin changes either though so what do no. i know Especially because they have them for some characters. Yeah, that's the them. issue. I and mean, like some characters have two different models, and then it's just like right. their colors. Yeah, and Ike has one that's two. It's, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, yep. Whatever. I know it's because he's in two different games and he aged in between them. Fuck you, Fire Emblem fans. I know your series. It's just not my shit. <laughs> it's good though. Uh, so yeah. Well, uh, I guess we'll just wrap this up then in a couple minutes. See you guys then. Give it up.